Apocalypse. So, throw another herald. We were in the new ones in the ancient sanctuary. So in order to get to here, I had to grind all the uh, clues out of the jungle labyrinth. Now, one of the things that they have changed, and they changed a few things. So first things first, uh, jungle labyrinth after you do IDE was the only area that you could go into. They changed it. So now you could only go into the jungle labyrinth and you can only go in the lava lake and the forsaken tundra if you have cleared the ancient sanctuary now one of the re one of the issues with uh that i had with that is i have a slayer task in the lava lake so i needed to do the uh the ancient sanctuary in order to do the slayer tasks uh in the lava lake because i couldn't do it otherwise now i did record this for the first time and that's one of the things that i do like to do um, I really like going into, um, I really do like going into the dungeons for the first time with you guys. You guys get to see my first reactions to it. Um, let's say for example, we'll say Into the Mist or Impending Darkness event. I extensively research those dungeons, making sure that I have the gear, have the resources and so forth and so forth. Then I record uh, me going in for the first time. So my freak outs are pretty much uh, genuine because I haven't gone in there before. And even though I have read a guide on and have an idea of what I'm doing, I could still die if I don't change my uh, style to the correct style or feed when I need to. So it's kind of one of those where, you know, I'm suffering. But you guys might as well watch me suffer while I'm doing it. Now, I did record in doing the Ancient Sanctuary before. Unfortunately, uh, the video got corrupt. So, unfortunately, I'm having to do this again. And this isn't uh, something that I usually do. I always do it for the first time with you guys. So, unfortunately, from now on, I will do the dungeons with you guys uh for the first time just couldn't do it with this because the file got corrupted so sorry for that but it's pretty much all of the monsters in the uh in the jungle labyrinth um yeah pretty much all the monsters in the jungle labyrinth now what i am using is i'm switching between my styles uh, I'm using Divine Gear for melee, I'm using Damage Reduction Potions 4s, I shouldn't really need to, but my levels are still quite insignificant. Um, yeah, so now that I've done it once, I get the Archaic Magic, which means that I can use these if I wanted to. I will not put combination runes on there because I don't really want to because I have a lot of poison runes. <laughs> you have so many poison runes. Uh, trying to get rune crafting up to 112 only to realize that the mythical gear that I want to use I can't use because uh, I need to be at least level 110 in magic. So I can't use the poison well i can use these poison gear the legendary ones but i can't use the mythical which is sucks so much but one of the things that i'm going to be doing with slayer tasks now is that i'm going to go through slayer tasks but i do want to get 105 herb lore first because there's a herb lore potion called slayer bounty that will allow me to go in and do uh so if i kill one of these it can act as killing two so i would get slayer coins for killing two so that would make going through slayer tasks uh quicker also i because any melee slayer tasks that i have i can also use the palladium onyx necklace which killing a melee slayer task enemy grants slayer coins equal to enemy combat level so i want to use all those in conjunction because slayer coins are going to be what i need to do so once i do 20 legendary uh, slayer tasks i will then get the opportunity to uh, i will get the opportunity to uh, 
buy uh, the legendary Slayer uh, upgrade kits and obviously those cost 5 million each. I have 9 pieces of gear so that's going to cost me 45 million. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with uh, Mystical uh, or sorry Mythical and that's going to cost me how much is it going to cost me? 90 mil. So I need at least 135 mil. So anything that gives me more Slayer coins, I'm going to be working towards. So that's why I haven't done that uh, at the moment. I'm having to switch between them because obviously this is what I need to do. Um, I am using the Divine Gear upgraded version, God Sword. I'm using a Fire Cape. Uh, yeah. Damage reduction and the Fury gloves that I grinded the uh, unhallowed wasteland materials for the dragon minotaur uh, syn synergy and damage reduction. That's kind of where I'm going for my melee gear and fighter amulet and asphoric signet rings, hoping that I do get two chests. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is. I think there's another one that yeah there's another map uh, monster and obviously this is gonna be a little problematic going through because poison toad even if I was to stick on melee poison toad can actually kill me um, with my auto eat and stuff like that so I need to get agility up and I will go through that in a second um, but we're gonna complete this, we're gonna go in, we're gonna open the chest, one of the chests that we get, because we get one. Uh, there are gonna be bosses, or, sorry, not bosses, uh, pets for all of the dungeons. We also have a pet for Lava Lake and Millennial Gate, so it's gonna be interesting trying to get those as well. Uh, so, Morelia, uh, we got, so we're gonna go through, and this is my God Sword don't have to use a god sword um i'm using it because you know i spent so long grinding it that i might as well <laughs> and also trying to get attack as well i don't think i'm going to be able to do this offline i think i'm going to have to keep an eye on it um yeah i'm going to have to keep an eye on this uh as i can but yeah so we're almost there with this. We're halfway, pretty much halfway. Um, if it at least doesn't stun me or anything like that, I should be good. Or it heals, because I think this this one heals. But as you can see, my auto eat is like four thousand five hundred thingy, and obviously here I I sh I, I should be all right. It's just changing uh, different styles that I need to do. Uh, so, oh, okay, we got two chests, that one. Okay, so we're going to open these. Uh, view chest content. Now, I did open up the one, and I got the Weakness Explorer Cape. I need to get 100 of those to get uh, upgrade the Explorer uh, Exploiter Cape. Carry on bark, jungle spores, <laughs> up to one jungle spores. <laughs> You're having a laugh. But we're going to open both of them. So we got 77. Ooh. We got toxic maker gloves. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this because this is something that <laughs> Yes Okay, so one of the things was Oh yeah That is just gorgeous. Okay, so if I go over to my uh we'll go over to here. We're gonna equip Okay. Maybe not equip hands. Hold on, what was it now? Karen. Nope. Okay, wrong gloves. Uh, excuse me a second. Ah, oh, with that done, let's go through. Okay, so one of the things with these gloves is that I found out that if I am making... This is where I can't find it. Lethal Toxin Potion. So I start making this. And not only do I get a lethal toxin potion, I get this. Oh, yes. I don't know why I'm so excited. Plus 20% chance to apply poison when hitting with an attack. And 15% chance to apply deadly poison to the target. That's going to be great. Yeah, that is going to be so great to have. And not only that, poison completion is now 80.65%. So... 
I'm gonna say I will be using these gloves. Uh, it doesn't show the gloves up here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those off. Uh, we're gonna go and do this. I, I do think that if it has anything to do with the skill that it needs it in, that it would should pull it in. But with that said, we're gonna go through and what am I gonna do? Okay, so I was doing uh, pretty much this. Yeah, I was doing pretty much this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, mining gloves don't work anymore, which is frustrating on rune essence or pure essence or even gem veins. Uh, Township has changed, the interface has. There's some differences as well. I still don't like it, so obviously I'm not going to be showing you that. Um, and so what have I done? Okay, so I am going through the old stuff, obviously, to try and get the mastery levels. Uh, trees, obviously, trying to go through those. Uh, because I still have some tasks to do, which is the elite ones, which is, okay, get the ancient ring of mastery or skills. Okay, I could probably do that. Um, yeah, I will probably do that when I'm fishing. Ancient va uh, antique vases, obviously, I still need to do that. But I don't really want to grind the princess over and over until that one's that one's probably going to be my one of my last tasks. Fury of the Elemental Zodiac, Torture and Fury. Obviously, I'm going to have to do that at some point. And then we've got Bird's Nest Potion. So anytime I'm woodcutting, I'm using the Bear and the Ent Synergy to try and get more Bird's Nests. And I will get that at some point. Now, there's also a change to Astrology. Whereas, there's something that gives extra bank, slot, uh, bank slots. And there was you could have up to five more bank slots and then i changed it to 50 and somehow there are people who are like no we liked the problem we liked being limited and there are people who are complaining that now you get 50 when they really wanted to go back to five i don't get it <laughs> more bank slots especially if you're on hardcore mode uh, is a idea and I'm gonna be doing a hardcore mode again uh, I am kind of on the verge of almost starting it I have done some preparation for it again um, but yeah so obviously I'm going through old masteries but also trying to make new stuff um, so that I can get my true completion up and Obviously, fletching because I'm going to need a lot more gold because, yes, I still have 200 mil for this, 100, then 150, then 200 mil for this, then 10, or whatever, how many, 100 mil, 100 mil here, uh, 200 mil here. So, there's a lot, and I do mean a lot of, like, grinding just to get these things, so, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to buy the equipment set yet. I am not really understanding. I could do it for the summoning and have a summoning set. But do I really want to spend 200 mil on this yet at the moment? Uh, no. I will do fletching to try and get money. Uh, crafting. I haven't really done much. Rune crafting, I still need to do. Herb law, I want to get 105. Agility, I've been doing offline because offline, I can do, uh, I can get it up. Summoning, I'm not going to focus too much on until I get 115, so I can start getting the summoning marks, and then I can grind out a load more tablets because I'm, yeah. Uh, what am I doing now? So I'm using the minus 0.2 second mining interval because I need experience. So obviously I'm trying to kind of get experience by using synergy tablets. But then once I get 115, I can then just start making a bunch of tablets, even offline. And I know that I can start getting marks that way because I don't want to do go ham on making marks or making tablets if I'm not going to get marks for it yet. So that's kind of where I'm going. Um, it's going to be a slow 
or a slower grind if you guys have any idea of what you guys want to see i will you know put in the comment section below uh subscribe to my channel and i do want to thank all my uh supporters on, on patreon anxious aaron and missy for supporting me there i really do appreciate it but with that said thank you so much for joining me on this video and i'll see you later bye